Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. It's a complete catastrophe. This world went to hell in a handbasket. This is outrageous. Chill out, ma'am. On 93.3 KZOC. Tommy Lee is an American. His parents are Greek. Uh, thank you, Mike Rose. Sammy says he's from Greece or his family's from Greece. So that's where Tommy will go if uh, Donald Greece? Trump is elected. Uh, he says he's leaving the country and he's going back to Greece. You can do that. I mean, you, you, you can do that if you are, you know, you got Tommy Lee money. You got he's the, cap, the he's, capital. He might go for a while, but he's not permanently leaving for four years. Why wouldn't you? I mean, you could do music. I mean, if, if, he lives if, in Malibu. He's uh, come on. Right. The hi hat is the symbol. But I mean, he's he he can afford Malibu. It's one thing to live in Malibu and be able to live there and afford it. If if you know what, if you can live there and afford it, why would you leave? It's I don't know. Why do I always hear about Mykonos? Mykonos sounds like a nice place. I always hear it. I always Mykonos, see, Mykonos. I always see it on travel, Mykonos. travel no, channels Mykonos. and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm like it's not like he's young. He's pretty he's, old. I he's mean, probably got a house there. What about retiring? Like, just retire. Sell your Malibu place. Everybody's trying to get out of California. What anyways. does retire mean to him? He's not touring. I mean, he's just sitting around, messing around in his studio, writing music, because he, he's bored otherwise. He's got to find a new hobby. You know, that's the thing about a rock star. Isn't is, the weather really nice in Greece, though? Like, pretty much year-round? I've, I've never been. I'd like to go. I would like to go to Greece. I don't know if I want to live there permanently, but I definitely would like to go. Olives? Maybe spend the summer. Isn't there a lot of olives there? Or the fall or, you know, whatever. I could do Greece. You big olive fan? I just, I'm just i just saying that from what I've heard of Greece, it would not be a bad What is your favorite there. olive? Probably cost of living, I would think, is a lot less. Since you bring it up. Uh, my favorite olive? Yes. The black one. Oh, the black the one. The black one that you get in the in the uh, can. Have you ever had the ones they have around here, the Castle no, of Toronto? I can't stand them. No, they have the, the pit in the middle. Yeah, they I taste like butter. Are you are you kidding me? I don't want me? something with a big seed in it. That's I don't the like problem. the seed either. Yeah, I, mean, like, I know, I know. But, the, why, but it's like the best tasting olive, olive I've ever had. The Castle of No, mm. I, nobody nobody knows what that is. And if it everybody the, knows what if that is, that knows best, what I'm talking if about. If it was the best olive, somebody who claims to love olives knows what Castle Vitronos. If it was the best olive, it would be packaged and mass produced and sold in a big can like black olives are. Okay, I do like black olives. Black olives are the best olive. That's why they're the most plentiful. Hmm. That's why they're the highest. What's the worst demand. olive? What's the one? Have you ever had the purple olive? The it's kind of a purplish color. Anything that has a big seed in it. Yeah, that does. It's, it bite down. Ah! <laughs> like, what the I hell wasn't expecting that? that. I eat black olives. Now I have to go to the dentist. It's ridiculous. I like the olives that have garlic stuffed in the middle. I mean, but a green olive is not my favorite olive. No, it's unless not. it's a Castle Vitrano. I don't know what that is. Casanova. All right, I'll bring it in. I hadn't had it till I moved here. I won't eat it. And they're everywhere. You if can buy them at Costco. In it, I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, I'll take the pit out for you. No, I don't want to have something you've touched. Feed you like a bird. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Hey, coming up, we're going to be giving away something fun for Halloween. Uh, this is the, uh, what is this? This is the uh, Haunted Hills drive through Experience. It's happening down at the Elks in Santa Maria. And it's like $30 to do this. It's like a three-mile drive, and they come out and scare you as you drive by. Seven Ghost of Cowboys Pass, they say, because, you know, the rodeo's big in Santa Maria. Yeah. So. Anyways, uh, we're doing this just after we do the news, so about 840. Seth and I were talking about this, and this has the potential to be scarier than a haunted house, if you think about it. Because they run up and sneak up to your car? Well, yeah. And if you have, I mean, unless you're the first car in there, what if you're, because they do it in times. They they have uh, certain um, shifts in which they Oh, so you can't see people, them run out and scare other cars. Let, let people no. in, in, right? So, but no, what if you get backed up? Like, okay, this is always what happens in a haunted house, right? But it's so magnified when you're in your car and you're trapped in a vehicle. <laughs> you think about it, okay? In a haunted house, you could push the people out of the way and move past them. You can't do that in a car, okay? You're in a car, you're stuck. And you're dealing with whatever's coming at you at all times. The scariest haunted house I ever was went to was up in Big Bear. And I told you about it. But it was a similar situation. Instead of being in a car, we were on a trailer, mm-hmm. a hay trailer, that was pulled by a tractor. Right. And all you could smell was the diesel. You're it at- was dark and it was cold. And they took us into the woods. And these, these people had night vision goggles to come up and just scare the living crap out of you. with Real chainsaws. This is what I'm talking about. Like the... the- the Haunted Crazy. Hills might be the scariest thing to come out of the pandemic because 
you can't get out. There's no escape. Like most haunted houses have an escape. Do you have an escape at the Haunted Hills? I don't know. But if that car in front of you is apprehensive about going because somebody's out in front of their car scaring them and they freak out, you're stuck there getting scared by everybody else. This is going to happen. Sounds like a blast. I want to take the kids so bad. Uh, the tours start at 8.30 and 9.30 on Friday and Saturdays this weekend. And, of course, the weekend of Halloween. And if it's foggy and it's hard to see the car in front of you, oh, it will even be. better. It will be. Even better. KZOZ. It rocks. This is the best of what I've heard so far. Now, I haven't listened to what Seth and Suzanne and Chiba are doing. Spoken like a... But this is the best of the worst right here. That's John and Yoko. Spoken like a guy that likes Christopher Cross. Don't be scared. Um, (laughs) So, yeah, uh, where was was John on the backup vocals? (laughs) Uh, He must have been in backup vocals. Maybe he was playing an instrument. I don't know. Maybe he was going, scared. (laughs) <laughs> hey, hang on, because coming up, we're going to try to get you scared with the uh, Haunted Hills drive through experience happening down at the Santa Maria Elks. It's a three-mile drive. It's a $30 value, and uh, we're going to get you a car load in here in a little bit uh, coming up. Uh, first, the Red Zone Challenge brought to you by Donahue Trek Centers and Fred Bruin, the Central Coast Realtor. The Hurricane, Mike the Hurricane Andrews. This week, so far, 9 out of 12. 9 out of 12 uh, in the Red Zone Challenge. He's number one this week with 11 points. The high score in the nation was 12 points. He is number nine in the nation and number one on the Central Coast. But there is two games happening tonight. Mike was our winner last week with much more appreciated Soundgarden. Than Yoko Ono. So we'll just have to wait and see. Was that was that your question? Well, I was wondering how much of a lead he had on everybody else this week. One uh two points. So he's got two points? Compared to um Slow Magic and Old Moto twelve. So are two points behind him, oh. as well as Raiders seventy seven. Okay. So he's got a really good shot. I mean, he would have to miss both games tonight, and right. one of those guys would have to come in and then also have the tiebreaker of... The, you and I are sucking it the most, man, with this thing. I don't know what's going on. Of the game last night. Seth is... I mean, it's pretty tight. Uh, at least between you, Suzanne, Chiba, and Seth. I'm five points behind the leader okay. and four points behind you. So I'm going to go with the Bills, and I'm going to go with Dallas tonight. Those are the underdogs. And uh, we'll see what happens with Andy Dalton. I, I, To me, that is a throw. I don't know. Arizona, um, Dallas, I... The game's in Dallas, right? Hopefully it's got lots of points. <laughs> on the Dallas side. Or on, either side. On actually. the Arizona kicker's leg. <laughs> or on oh. the other side. Oh, I think this is Suzanne. <laughs> hey, is this Suze? Yeah, what's up? Oh, my God. I'm so glad you called us back. Hey, um, I have a question for you. A musical yeah. instrument question, all right? Because we were kicking it around, and we figured you would know, all right? Um, I'll try. Okay, now we're talking about musical instruments, and in a drum set, there is a symbol. Do you know how to spell that? Uh, that's with a C, correct? Okay, because uh, I was looking at all the code words you put out for today, and they all yeah. have drum parts in it, but then the symbol was spelled with an S, not a C. Was that a mistake? Oh, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, because what happened was, you know me, I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> I thought it was the symbol, and so did Jeff, actually, I think, right, Jeff? Mm-hmm. We both thought the symbol in the in the drum kit was spelled with an S, and then Mike Hutchinson right. uh, said it straight. Thank you, Mike. Frank, sorry, Frank. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a total typo. That's hilarious. Yeah, so we got it figured um, out. So we know it's symbol yeah, with an I S. Mean, the intention was supposed to be a symbol as in, like, a drum kit part, but obviously we need to make sure that people spell it correctly because it's already in the game. So, yes. <laughs> so it's S-Y-M-B-O-L. Like, yeah. Uh, the, I thought maybe you were uh, just trying to throw throw everybody off, uh, but oh, you yeah, threw no, me that's off. Totally what it I was worked. Doing. That's totally what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. <laughs> hey, you guys, real quick. Um, I heard you running down Mike um, Andrews' like stats in the red zone challenge. Yeah. 
And I was thinking if he wins, like, maybe we should let him pick another band. Nope. <laughs> I say, yeah, I if mean, he wants I'll play, to. I'll play Soundgarden, like, all week again. That's totally fine. Say, but say, yeah, let him pick another if band. He's, if he's, he like, owning that many faces, he, uh, he could pick another band. All right, we both vote. You lose, Jeff. Sorry. That's fine. Unless you want to ask <laughs> Chiba and Seth. Good, good luck. I mean, I have a feeling it would be good. We might get ourselves into another Yoko Ono situation, but I have a feeling Mike would pick another really good band. So. <laughs> you know me. If I win, it's Christopher Cross, right? And we'll be sailing. Oh <laughs> we'll be sailing. All right. See you oh soon. Oh, my God. All right. See you later. All right. That's the most awake I've ever heard her at this early in the morning. But, you know, she'll be on this afternoon, 2 o'clock. Let me get Mike up here first. Michael, good morning, sir. Good morning. All right. Uh, what, would a, what would a ghost cowboy say? Oh, yeah. uh, well, I'm sorry, what was that? What would a ghost cowboy say? <laughs> uh, stick him up. Uh, <laughs> Hit him up? Stick him up. Stick, oh, him, stick up. him up. Stick him up. <laughs> stick him up. Stick him up. Stick him up. All right, we'll get you down to this uh, Haunted Hills drive through experience with the Elks in Santa Maria. It's a three-mile drive, 20 frightening scenes. You just have to tell us what 41% of people that responded to this question said helps get them through a breakup. Uh, I'm going to say the gym. Going to the gym. Keep your mind busy on other things, right? Yeah, sorry, that's not it. Yeah, yeah. Not the gym. Ah, that's all right. Nice that's a great guess. That opens up a line, 805-543-3693 are the numbers to get through. This is uh, Stephen. Hello, Steve. Hello. What do you think? I'm going to say alcohol. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was too. Jeremy's first guess. And uh, I've tried that before. It's a slippery slope. Uh, no. that is. Yeah, it is. That, I did it too. <laughs> it's great because it gets your mind off the loser that dumped you. No, it and doesn't. it gives you the confidence to get back out there and put no, yourself in the it game. Really it doesn't. <laughs> it does not. It doesn't? No. Follow at home and listen to sad music. I only dated one girl my whole life, and she four, married me. I've never been dumped. I don't four know. Four o'clock in the morning. I apologize. I have bad advice over here. 805-543-3693 are the numbers to get through right now. Hi, good morning. What's your name? Ben. Hey, Ben. 41% of people say this helps get them through a breakup. The good old rebound. Hit the boards, baby. <laughs> Charles Barkley style. <laughs> Correct. Sorry, bud. That's not it. Eight zero five five four three thirty six ninety three are the numbers to get through right now. That's a great guess, though. The, the rebound re- does give you the confidence to get back out there. You don't need the alcohol to get the confidence to do the rebound. Well, you might need the alcohol to get to the rebound, but you need to, you know. What's the best way they say to get over? Taper your consumption. Yeah. You just get back out there. You move on. You yeah. move on. You move on. You move on. Because otherwise, you're just going to sit at home and feel lonely, right? Yeah. Hi. Good morning. What's your name? JC. Hey, JC. What do you think it is? Uh, I'm going to say traveling. Oh. Getting out. Oh, that's a great guess. Going new places. Sorry. That is not correct. 41% anyways say that this helps them get through a breakup. 805-543-3693. We're giving away... This cruise through Santa Maria, the Haunted Hills drive through experience. Hi, good morning. What is your name? Marissa. Hi, Carissa. Or Marissa. Is it Marissa or Carissa? Marissa. 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 Uh, what do you think it is, Marissa? I think it's going out with your friends. Wow. Getting out, getting social? Yeah. No, sorry. I wonder, sorry. Dude. I wonder if people have gotten broken up with during the pandemic and <laughs> they can't go out. <laughs> you can't rebound. You can't, I, mean, I guess you could wallow in alcohol at home, uh, but you can't go out and meet people. How are you meeting people during a pandemic? I mean, come on. It's all tender, right? This is dark, but it's Halloween. I, I don't know if I've heard anything about suicide rates during the pandemic. Oh, I'm sure they're. Uh, you think they I would imagine. You would imagine they've gone up. Because you're right, people that are lonely, people that don't have anybody. 805-543-3693. Hi, what do you think it is? Go out and buy a new toy. Uh, what kind of toy? Is it battery operated? No, no. <laughs> yeah, car, stereo, something like that. Okay, it's not a toy. And that's a little generic. 
eight zero five five four three thirty six ninety three. Like a boat or a it's not a car, toy. Corvette, Camaro. Hi, good morning. <laughs> That's midlife crisis. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. Uh, this is what we call the mind funk. Forty one percent of people say this helps them get through a breakup. If you can figure out what it is, we're going to send you through the Haunted Hills drive through experience. Eight zero five five four three thirty six ninety three. You have to call in. Hi, what do you think? Uh, Netflix binging. Hmm. I'll take your mind off it, right? That is incorrect. Sorry. What are you going to watch on Netflix to get over a girl? Not a lot of romantic comedies. That's what's all on there. I'm telling you, there's a ton of those on there. I think you named the genre. They got a ton of them on it. It's Netflix. 805 543 We'll do a couple more here. we got to get to a break and a new keyword in the $1,000 giveaway. Hi, what do you think? Hi, could it be sleeping? Just sleep oh, it yeah. off. It's not that before, too. Sorry, it's not that. Hi, what do you think? All right. Hi, good morning. What do you think? Uh, food. No. It's... God, nobody said food yet? Nobody has said food yet. That was the number two guess amongst the staffers here. 93.3 KZOZ. Uh, ice cream, junk food, all that stuff. 805 543-3693. 41% of people say this helps them get through a breakup. <laughs> we'll come back and get more food. guesses. When a bunch of DJs get together and they brainstorm this, they're like, oh, it's got to be alcohol and food. <laughs>